Okay, what's up YouTube? Back on the video. <clears throat> and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Star System series, right? I, want, I need you to pay close, close attention, okay? I need you to pay, pay attention, right, on what's about to come out in this, in this video. Okay, so once again, to set the stage, like I say, pictures are worth a trillion words. So, back in this book right here, Black history, um, say black ancient space travelers of 50,000 BC, blacks traveled in outer space 50,000 years ago, okay, you have right here, they were traveling all throughout the goddamn galaxy, right, it's all on the walls in Egypt, okay, uh, I want you to keep this imagery in mind, keep this color in mind right here, black, right, melanin. Or carbon. Carbon is cold, black, right? Now I'm gonna show you something that a lot of people have seen the cartoon and seen the characters, but I'm quite sure it has gone over a lot of y'all's heads. I'm quite I it went over my head. Alright? So this this says this shows the black Atlanteans and black Egyptians as founders of the Mayan Inca and Aztec societies, right? And these are, they were smoking cigarettes back in the day, right? These are space suits of ancient black men found in Mexico, right? Okay, so, let's put this to the side. To give a brief synopsis where we'll be coming from, okay? And let's get into this dog star, serious, right? Now, to set the stage, we're going to be coming back in this book right here again show you. Now check this out. Check this out. I'm going to go back here. This is Black Root Science. Our Earth and solar system were created 78 trillion years ago. As soon as the Earth was ready, 144,000 ancestors came from another star system called the Star Sirius or Cyrus that was worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. Okay? They inhabited the earth after preparing it by seeding it with plant and animal life. And at, uh, it says after about 7,000 years since their arrival, their, their population increased from 144,000 to 1 billion, 8 million. So they're telling us, we've been trained to believe there's no such thing as going to heaven. Like there's no such thing as heaven. Well, let's see if that's true. Is there a such thing as heaven when we, when we die? Where do we go? Okay? Now we need to come with some facts and evidence. Alright? So, my first source, we going, we're going right here to, uh, you have right here, Sirius Satellite Radio. And you have right here a dog. The dog star. Okay? The Chinese talk about the dog star. Let's type in dog star. I'm trying to I'm trying to get you get you people to see you niggas to see where we come from. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we know about this the constellation Sirius A and Sirius B, right? Things of that nature. Okay, and. The uh, Dogon talked about this, okay? They talked about this. Right? Okay, so let's do something here. Let's, let's go here. You can read upon this on your own, right? You can read upon this on your own, okay? In Chinese astronomy, Sirius is known as the star of celestial wolf. What is a celestial? What is a wolf? So the wolf is a dog. They call it the dog star. Uh, okay. Uh, it goes on to say here that many nations among the indigenous people of North America also associated Sirius with canines. What color is a, is a uh, uh, Aboriginal dog? Black. Okay. Uh, the Siri or the Tohono uh, or the 
southwest north of the southwest note the star as a dog that follows mountain sheep, while the Blackfoot called it the dog face. The Cherokee paired, paired Sirius with uh, a terrace as a dog star guardian of either end of the path of the souls. Okay? Alright, so let's keep on going. Let's keep on going here, right? Right, they're going to see the Egyptian culture, things of that nature, right? Sirius, this star is mentioned in Surah Anam, called the Star of the, uh, of, of the Quran, right? Where it is given a name in Arabic, transliteration as Ashura, the leader. Okay? Listen to this. Listen to this. So this is, in a, this is in the Quran, right? And it says, this verse is in Arabic, and it says that he is the Lord of Sirius, the mighty star. Anam Najim 49, right? Qatar said in his commentary that, quote, that is the bright star named uh, Mirzam al Jassa, Sirius, which a group of Arabs used to worship. So the Arabs used to worship this star called Sirius. Okay? Um, okay, I right hear talk about the Dogon people, right? So this, so this star is even talked about in the, in the damn Quran. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Okay. So, like I said, the, uh, the Dogon talked about it, right? Okay. Now listen to this. Check this out. I'm not gonna make this long, join our video, but check this out. So now I just gave you two sources talking about this star, right? So we we talked about it from Black Root Science in the Quran. It talks about it. The Chinese people talked about the dog. They call it the dog star. You got Sirius Satellite Radio talking about the dog. That's that's metal. That's black folks, man. They making they making money off of us. They making they put the shit right in your face. You know you never catch on to it. They tell them where you come from. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to Bobby Hemmett. Listen to this. They talk about God being caught up within the Father. Jesus being caught up within the Father in the Bible. And the Father, they're talking about is actually Jesus being caught up into Sirius. And that's called... And so they said that Sirius is actually the heaven region. The actual heaven region that our religions come from. Okay, y'all got all that, right? Now... I want to show you something. Uh, something, and this is coming from the the group called the Golden Dawn Society, the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn Society that Alistair Crowley, the white boy, was a member of. Well, they took the actual Egyptian rituals and they initiated themselves under this actual stuff that they got out of Egypt. It even had Egyptologists on. I want y'all to just listen to this. Listen to this. I'm coming with straight facts, straight proof. They're telling you what heaven is. What, what heaven is. On hand to tell them what's going on. And it says right here, the divine name, A-H-I-A, aha, uh -huh, the divine name for Kevin, immediately above Kevin. And it says, the divine name for Kevin, Kevin immediately above, in the Egyptian sense, is Sirius. The dog star, i.e., Isis or Sothis. Around it, we're not talking about this, but around it, it says, we're not talking about these breakdowns of the zodiacs, around it is seven planets.
stop right here. Okay, so you said around it are seven planets. Let's go back here to the to the uh, dog star, right? Sirius, right? Sirius is the brightest star in the night sky. Okay. They tell you our ancestors, we came from that star and brought life here. Now, we're going back down here. Let's see what Brother Bobby Hammond is talking about. He's talking about these seven stars, right? Let's see. And like I said, you can read about this on your own in, uh, in um, what's the name? On Wikipedia. In Theosophy, in Theosophy it is believed that seven stars of Pleiades Transmit the spiritual energy of the seven of the seven rays from the galactic logos to the seven stars of the great bear, then to Sirius, right? Okay, so let's keep on going. So this is a star, you know, astronomy. This is a star. Then you have planets. Now, this is the key. Around it is seven planets. You have the three stars, but there's planets, and what what's on planets? People live on planets. You understand? Now, let me explain you something. Not only is Sirius the father to our son, but Sirius is the father for 11 other solar systems, which basically makes up solar systems. And you're not, you're not even adding planets and all this stuff, which in a way makes up, uh, it makes up, way it makes up a universe. They say there's parallel universes. Let me stop. We talked about parallel universes, multi, multi dimensions, multiverses in my last videos. Watch those videos, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you all to see. So when this stuff hit the fan, all I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to sit back and say, I told you so. You, know, you didn't want to believe me. I'm going to say, I told you. Universe A and you go into universe B. And it makes up the universe. Is this stuff boring to you? Uh, are you getting anything out of this stuff? Okay, I just want to know, you know. I just want to know, because believe me, it's going to get, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it back down to you. I'm not going to stay up in space, but I'm going to bring it back down to you. I just want you to know. Now, let's look up. Sirius is the, is the father of 11 other solar systems. Now, this word, this Sirius, um, Sirius, which means one star in sight, which means that the ancients could see it in the daytime, it was so bright. But not only is it one star in sight to us, but it is one star in sight to all terrestrial dwellers. All of them in this particular universe. Now this is very key. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying because it's very key of what I'm trying to say. Now let me run this to you. One star in sight to all terrestrial dwellers. Sirius A and its dark twin Sirius B indues, imbues a certain magical light. It is an 11-fold star of the Great White Brotherhood. Remember that Great White Brotherhood. It ain't talking about white people. It is talking about white meaning Christ's mind or the Christ or the crown chakra. It means those ascended masters that have gone and got this stuff together down here and gone to the other realm. You can rise to that point. They're saying it is the the true father of our universe, which has another, the darkness of space. It is the true father of our universe, all them stars out now. Now, this is the key that you got to understand. Now, you got to listen, cause, because see, we have a, 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 a bad inferiority complex about ourselves. Now, Honorable Elijah Muhammad says there's other life forms in the universe, but the black man was the most superior. Stop. Did you hear that? Let me go back. How come? Just think about. Just think about this, people. Think about this. For you all who's coming from a biblical standpoint, you know, you you trans you transverse from being a Christian to a Catholic to a Muslim. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying to a Hebrew Israelite, right? And you're afraid to call yourself God or goddess. You know what I'm saying? Why? And you know the people who you are subscribed to. Why? How come you're not asking me these questions? Why aren't you asking them to break this stuff down? 
Why do they have GoFundMe pages and Patreon pages set up for you to learn about who you are? Talking about we're going to set up an online school for you can get more knowledge about who you are when they got you confined in a box and you have just, you have been categorizing yourself as just Hebrew Israelites and we the chosen people of God. Let's keep on going. Listen, everything he's saying, he's just re paraphrasing what I'm saying in my, in my videos. Bobby Hemmings said this back in 19, like 90, 92, 93. Now, say, now, wait a minute. Now, you done gone too doggone far here. You got a big old universe out here. And I wouldn't imagine... I would imagine there would be other life forms. We see them green people and all the different types of things they say they come out of space. Well, that's a fact. But to tell me a big old universe, you mean to tell me that we are the most superior? Seem to me that that's some actual therapy or some actual psychology to lift people up. And that's a master psychologist talking. But man, that sounds too damn good to be true. Well, let me tell you something. Let's see if that's right. You didn't understand what the people of the OTO say. You got to understand the codes of what they're talking about. I ain't going to I'll tell you what's going on. Number one, they said that Kevin, around it, which is Kevin, which is serious. Now, they're not talking about Saturn and Mercury and all these places. Yeah. Okay, let this go past these stupid ads. Egyptians take the title away. These number of black people, right? 
They inhabit the earth after preparing it by seeding it with plant and animal life. Okay, now let's drop, let's keep on going. Um, I'm trying to get you to see we are in the mind of God. Well, the Elohim, the gods. Okay? Let's keep on going here. Uh, it says here that the matter of every star and planet in the universe is created in seven forms. In modern words, these are magnetism, electricity, light, ether, gases, liquids, and solids. The fourth substance, ether, is the central supporting substance of the other six. It is the womb of creation called space. It is black in color, as one can see it by looking out into space at night. You see that? Same thing we, what he's saying. Okay? It goes in to say that this absolute blackness called space not only supports the other substances, but it also gives individual colors to all ob objects because the color black contains all other colors in itself. Hence, when the black, when the uh, 1 billion, 8 million original gods, um, let me go back. Uh, if I have to make a part two to this, I will. Um, let me go back up here. I should have brought, it, brought my book, but I didn't have time. Okay, but you heard me read this before, right? So it says here, the first earth mentioned above was created by the one billion eight million which original gods from the stars of the previous universe. They had existed in that previous universe towards its end, along with trillions upon trillions, uh, along with trillions upon countless trillions of other people, in a state of mind called divine unity or the oneness of God. Uh, uh, it, uh, or the oneness of God. It is a state of mind where all people in the universe unite as one. Okay. Um, okay. All right, so let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. But it is the father of our universe, but it has seven planets around it. You check what I'm saying? So it means that if this one has seven planets around it, these seven planets will be have something greater in common than the other um, stuff of planets because these planets have these smaller suns. This particular planet, these, these particular planets that will be around here, the people who would dwell on those planets would actually be God. You understand? And guess who those people are? Us. Stop. The people who would dwell on those planets would actually be God. He said the people who dwell on those planets would actually be God. Let's keep on going. What else he said? You understand? Us. Now, you heard me say in my previous video that we are not just living life here. We're living life, we're living countless lives throughout the, throughout the universe. We are multi-dimensional beings. You heard if you heard the dude from, from, from uh, Black Root Science say that. Let's see, let me let me see if I can find it here. I should have bought my book. But if you watch my previous videos on Black Roots Times, you hear me say that um, we are multidimensional beings. Okay, we have what is called the the gene, the dark, the uh, the dominant gene. Okay. Now let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let me go back up here. You heard what he said. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna drop something. I'm gonna drop something on you real big that I found, and uh, I was just scrolling around. I picked up on it up on somebody's comment section when they said about a particular cartoon that I'm quite sure we all familiar with back in the day, watching it watching it as kids. When you see this, I hope you two don't copyright strike me. You know what I'm saying? They shouldn't. They shouldn't get me. I'm trying to find this particular uh, part. Okay, 
But like I said, you can watch these. Uh, you can watch my other videos on, on this. I went over this before. Okay. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. See, the key to this is if you met the man, devil, Dr. Delbert Blair, we don't have to just speculate. In 1957, Dr. Delbert Blair said he met two space beings. It was introduced to him by a, a UFO pioneer from the 1950s when I told you he had all the real stuff by named George Odensky. And he met two people. And where were those two people from? They were from Sirius. Check. They were from Sirius. Well, as we go on, we'll dwell in a little more of this, but listen. Let's deal with this. Okay, stop. Okay, let's do something real quick. I want to. Now, remember, if you've been watching my previous videos, remember we talked about something called this substand. I'm quite sure you all heard me teach up on this before. Okay, so this is called substantia, substantia nigra, right? Substantia nigra um, is uh, the basal gagula structure located in the membrane that plays an important role in reward and movement. Substantia nigra is lacking for black substance, right? Reflecting the fact that parts of substantia nigra appear darker than neighboring, neighboring areas due to high levels of neuromelanin, right? Okay. Okay. And we want to see this substantial nigra is I want you to see this. Where is it at? I taught on this before. If you if you've been watching my videos, you will see that all my videos coincide with each other. They all parallel with each other. Give me one second. Um, you, okay, so so you can check out substantial nigga, right? And it says it has high levels of neuromelanin. We talked about neuromelanin is a dark pigment found in the brain, which is directly related to melanin, right? We went over, now, how come your camps, your Hebrew camps, not talking about melanin like this, right? You know the people who you subscribe to? How come they're not breaking God's ass down? Neuromelanin is a dark pigment found in the brain which is structurally related to melanin, right? We went over the different types of melanin in my video. So you got melanin. Okay? Go back and watch my videos on making it a white man. Melanin comes from the Greek means, melanin means black or dark. It's a broad term for a group of natural pigments found in most, found in most, most organisms, Right? And then you have there are three basic types of mel uh, uh, three types of melanin: U melanin, right? Phyo melanin, right? And neuromelanin. Okay. The most common types of types is the U melanin, which are which uh, there are two types: brown U melanin and dark U melanin. Phyo melanin is a cysteine derivative that, that contains uh, polybenthyl benth benzothine uh, portions that are largely responsible for the color of red hair among other pigmentations. Neuromelanin is found in the brain. Okay, so red, we know red hair, see that? Fail melanin. These are white folks. They don't have, they just have, they have fellow fail melanin. <coughs> okay? Now, So you have here melanin, right? This is this black stuff. This same same black shit you see right here. You look up in the sky, it's black, right? And it shows here. Now check it out. Albinism occurs when melanocytes produce little melanin. This albino girl is from Papua New Guinea. Okay, you see that? Now, let's go back up here. And I want to do something real quick to prove what I'm talking about, this substantial nigga. Let's go back to another one of Bobby Hemmings' video. Let me see if I can catch it, if I can find it real quick. I believe it's in this one. Now check this out. Next portion I want to get into is, 
Number one, we're going to say, well, what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to get into what's going to happen. And I want to get into that part. We got out of prison. Tears started coming out. They didn't say who the speaker was. He just said, every night, you know, doggone well, if there's anybody going to get rescued, it's us. Because people killing people over chickens. Black man the other night, 75 years ago, shot another man because he was about three months ago. There was a black woman and lost her child. She did, he just disappeared. So she went to a psyche, and it was a white psyche on the TV show talking. And she said that, um, my child is gone, and can you do some kind of reading so I can get my child back or, or find out what happened to him? And she did the reading, and she was on the Montel Williams show talking to him. And Montel said, well, what happened to him? She said, well, a group of black men came down in a spaceship, and he willingly went with it. She said, well, well, what do they look like? She said, they don't look like the spaceship. didn't look like nothing that we have. She said, but I do know this. It had hieroglyphics on the side. <laughs> Stop. He said he said the spaceship had hieroglyphics on the side. What is he talking about? Let's go back here. Yeah, hieroglyphics. What the hell are these men talking about? Black ancient Egyptians carved their carved their space traveling histories on their walls. They were traveling in outer space fifty thousand years ago and twenty five thousand years ago. And here it says here that um uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, the ancient black Egyptian history written in stone is what is teaching us today about the past. Uh, third, Sterling Mayers, quoting from page 197 of James Brownwell's book, Lost Atlantis, says, They also had airships. They harnessed the power of gravitation to propel their airships. Okay? Now, let's keep on going. You see... Let me fast forward this. So I'm trying to find this particular part when he's talking about what, what he came up with, uh, what happened.
looking for a particular section, so bear with me. Now, and it just passed at Neptune, a lot of things are going to be happening at this time. He is right in his masonry. I don't go nowhere. I don't would be better than you. <clears throat> and to be retarded, this cat is not retarded. He's I can't find a particular section I want. Did he talk about the substantial nigger? I know I'm overlooking it. So you can hear it.
Excuse, excuse all these ads. Me that we are the most superior. Seem to me that that's an act. Life forms in the universe, but the black man was the most superior. Life forms. Now, Honorable Elijah Muhammad says there's other life forms in the universe, but the black man was the most superior. And I said, now wait a minute, now you done gone too doggone far here. You got a big old universe out here. And I was. Whatever planet you go to, if, if, if you want to believe in that theory, that there are other planets out here, or, or you know what I'm saying, we are uh, uh, in, a, in a holographic, a false reality, a matrix, there are other realms, well, the realm you go to, you are superior in that realm, because you are God. space beings it was introduced to him by a, a ufo pioneer from the 1950s when i told you he had all the real stuff by named george adamski and he met two people and where were those two people from they were from sirius so more confirmation now if i, if I you see you heard me say in my video like a month ago i said i'm gonna stop making videos you know what i'm saying because I, I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of stuff is going on y'all's heads. Y'all not ready for this stuff, this type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Your heads is too far to goddamn Bible. You know what I'm saying? And you just not going to find no answer in just the one, one goddamn book. Or any book. You know what I'm saying? You got to go You gotta go within first. And once you go within, things are going to start coming out. And you got to know how to piece this stuff together. So, like I said... We're more than some, we're more than Egyptians. Uh, uh, we're more than some Af uh, Africa. Those are those are those are all titles. That don't mean a damn. Now let me drop one more thing on you, and then I'm, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm quite sure a lot of us have seen. Uh, let's let's type this in real quick. The Martians. All right. Type this in. Go 
Okay, so you got Martians. Okay, so they give you shit like this, right? The Martians, right? And we know that it, this is bullshit. Okay? But check this out. Let's go here to Wikipedia and listen to this. The first appearance of Marvin the Martian. Now listen to what Bug Buddy, what Bugs Bunny say to this dog. <laughs>
changes it into a black substance, which begins spreading over computers and other electronic objects in the lab, transforming them into an unconventionally shaped next generation supercomputer. She mentally begins a space-time journey to the past, eventually reaching the oldest discovered ancestor of mankind, implied to be Lucy. Black folks. Niggas. You see that? At the end of the movie, she begins to disappear, moving into the space-time continuum, only her clothes and the black supercomputer are left behind. Now, it says at the bottom, Dr. Real, played by uh, Morgan Freeman, right? Uh, his cell phone rings, and she's and he sees a text message that says, I am everywhere, Lucy's. Voice is then heard standing like was given to us a billion years ago. Now you know what to do with it. That's black people, man. Let's go back here to um, How come your camps ain't teach you about this? People you subscribe to. Go to G Dash Department. How come G Dash ain't breaking this shit down to you? This nigga got an online school started now. He talk about the same old shit. Breaking down movies. Same old shit. This shit get boring, dude. Talk about something else. Why don't you delve into uh, uh, astronomy, Ast astronomy, uh, um, um, genetics? These are talking about the same shit. Breaking down movies. That's all he got. Uh, majority of his content is breaking down movies and, and using the Bible. And talking about some bullshit ass Halloween. We all know. We all know about that man. That shit just played out. A lot of these people, a lot of these niggas are, are afraid to step outside the box and talk about other stuff because they are afraid of their work being criticized. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't that nigga. I talk about all I talk about all that shit and, and, and all that shit blends together. All that shit ties into all my lessons. Talk about the same old shit, breaking down movies. That's all you got? Break down movie breakdowns? And you charging these motherfuckers to, to buy to pay for that shit? Now this nigga got an online school, and you niggas done bought into that dumb shit. He got he got an online school going now, and he telling you niggas straight off straight off the right off the back to donate to him. You niggas is that gullible? Is that gullible to uh to uh support this dude? Online school. Let's click on this dumb shit. Look at this shit. You niggas gonna buy this shit. Annual $99 a year. Monthly $10.99 $10, uh, $10 a month. You, you niggas are crazy. You niggas crazy. And then, he tried to come back. Look, to show, to show you how much of a hypocrite he is. This dude trying to expose, he's trying to expose uh, uh, IUIC, the group IUIC, the Hebrews like camp IUIC for being a 5013C camp, whatever that shit is called. You know what I'm saying? These niggas taking money and he doing the same damn thing. Using that shit as a hustle. And he pimping you niggas. Look at this shit. V VIP package. Get the fuck out of here, man. And you niggas are not that gullible and dumb to support this dude. But hey, that's that's on you. That's on y'all. That's on you niggas. You don't want to think for your goddamn self. You you deserve to get pimped. So go ahead, more power to you, dude. Keep on pimping these niggas. Keep on getting rich. And watch this dude fall off the map. You y'all be like, man, where the fuck this new where he go? What happened? Niggas don't want to live it up. Getting paid off y'all money. He ain't the only one. This nigga right here. True Fun Bell. 777. This nigga right here. Doing the same damn thing. Pimping you niggas. This nigga pimping you niggas. Out y'all money. Got GoFundMe pages and shit set up. You niggas is, is, is uh, uh, 
Uh, supporting this bull, supporting this bullshit. You all be, you, you should be able to shan, you should be able to shan your goddamn self. And they tell you, they they tell you straight out the door. Donate to my Patreon account, my GoFundMe page. And you niggas gonna buy into the dumb shit, cause you don't want to research your own. Cause you niggas too pussyfied to research your own. Think for your goddamn self. That's why I tell you, don't believe nothing I say. Research, research your own. Research your own stuff. I can be lying to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect my shit to be spot on 100%. What if everything I'm saying is a goddamn lie? Because if we move at the end of the day, it's all hearsay. But at least question who you who you uh, supposedly so-called following. This nigga pimping y'all asses. Talking about the same shit. Break movie breakdowns. Okay, what else, man? Give me some uh give me some uh astronomy, mathematics, geography, give me give me something. Just movie breakdowns? I can do that shit. That ain't nothing. But like I said, man, Marvin and Martian, these are black folks, man. These are black people. These are black people. The movie Lucy. Talking about black folks, man. They put this shit in your face. And you niggas don't pick up on it. I like this one right here. This is a nice one. I might use this as my thumbnail. So, I'm running out of time. I got three, like, like three more minutes left. I got like three more minutes left. You know what I'm saying? All I, all I ask you all to do is think for your goddamn self, man. Think for yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's all on you. This is a test. What did you learn? Not as a group, but as an individual. What did you learn as an individual? What, what research did you do on your own as an individual? He talked about it too in his videos. Osaka Four. You talk about Lucy. Lucy was up. Lucy was up about black people. Those packets, that purple shit. She was that purple shit. That was melanin. That shit that was selling it. That, that shit that was selling. Melanin. And when they put the shit in her, what happened? She started changing. She started transforming. Let's go back. Let's go back here. <laughs> Step four. <laughs> Catch the fugitive from the dog star. What are you made up for? <laughs> Catch the fugitive from the dog star. Stop. Let's go to serious. We in serious in the Quran. It says that he is the Lord of Sirius, the mighty star. That is the brightest star. Named Sirius, which a group of Arabs used to worship. What are, they, what are the Arabs doing worshiping this star? In the Chinese culture, they call it the canine star. Right? They call it the canine star. Dogon talked about it. Okay? So, I hope you all take some, take some notes from this. Some notes from this. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, like I said, it's all on you. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.